This is not spirituality. This is just psychological pleasantness which everybody has to have, must have, for which there are ways to have. But when you talk about spirituality as a science, you are not talking about just psychological pleasantness. So what is a spiritual process? To give it a very technical kind of definition, If your experience of life transcends the limitations of the physical, then we can say you are spiritual. Psychological is still physical. When I say still physical, see for example, the microphone is physical. The electricity that is powering this is also physical, maybe not so, you know, so physical in terms of being able to see, but it is all… what is flowing through this wire is also physical, isn't it? And what is coming out of the speakers in the form of sound waves is also physical, isn't it so? Yes? Isn't it coming and hammering on your eardrums? <laughs> so, what you call as thought is physical, what you call as emotion is physical. So the psychological is also… belongs to the physical realm, but on a subtler space. So what we are looking at as spiritual is a dimension which is beyond the physical, which is the source of the physical. Now, the whole idea of creator has entered human mind only because of our contact with the creation. There was no creation, we wouldn't have thought of a creator obviously. What is the most intimate part of creation that we know in our life is always this one. See, anything that you experience through the five senses is not happening outside, it's always happening inside because the seat of your experience is within you, not outside of you. Right now you're looking at me, it makes you believe that I'm here, but that's not true. Right now, as far as your experience is concerned, these lights are uh, falling upon my body, reflecting, going into your lenses here and projecting an inverted image, you know all the story. So actually you are seeing me not here but in your mind. You are hearing me also in your mind, not here, isn't it? Not where I speak but where you perceive it within you. Every experience is within you because the seat of your experience is within you. So this level of perception is sufficient for survival. If survival is all we are seeking, this level of perception is sufficient. If you have started seeking the creator, then this level of perception is not enough. If you want to play in the creation, five senses are more than enough, you can live well. But now your life is not about living well, you want to know the very source of life. Now five senses are not sufficient perception, you need a different dimension of perception. Now this is the most intimate part of creation for you because this is all you experience. Everything that you experience is only within this. If we have to look at it in terms of how this one has been happening to you. From the day you were born to this day, when you were born you were only this much, now you become this much. This did not happen with any external help. Maybe we gave the raw material from outside in the form of food, but the whole creation process is happening from inside. So what you refer to as the creator, definitely functioning from within you, isn't it? You see, there's a gender problem but this is a language problem, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I say, is the creator within you, is he there, there's a problem with the ladies. Is she there, then there's problem. Is it there, that is also problem. This is because the language is logical and language exists only between the two dualities. Now with this, you can't play spirituality because 
that which you call a spiritual is beyond that comparison. Because your sense organs always perceive everything in comparison, everything is dual. And without this duality, there is no survival. Survival is possible only if you learn to do and juggle the duality well. Only if you learn to do the right kind of circus with the duality, you survive well. If you do not know this circus, you cannot survive in this planet.